Hello, I'm Ho Seok Won, Technical Marketing Engineer, part of the Enterprise Networking and Cloud Team. In this video, I'm going to show you how to bring up an ICE instance on Amazon Web Services. This is a new feature that was introduced with ICE 3.1 release, which allows you to install ICE as EC2 instance on AWS. Before you can bring up an ICE instance, there are a few prerequisites that are needed. First, the underlying network and connectivity back to the on-prem network. Next is the SSH key that is going to be used for SSH access. This is different from the on-prem ICE deployments where typical admin credentials are used. Okay, with that, let's get started. First, let's look at the networking setup. Select like VPC. And here we have a VPC setup with the 10.0.0.0 slash 16. And then let's make sure that we have subnets. So we have two subnets. One is the 10.0.2.0 slash 24. And the other one is 10.0.1.0 slash 24. Lastly, we have routes. So the 10.0.0.0 slash 16 is the, the cloud subnet. Then I also have 192.168.0.0 slash 16. That's on-prem network. And I have a, the virtual gateway pointing to my on-prem network router. Next, let's go to the EC2 settings. And here we're going to confirm two things. First is the security group. So I have an existing security group that controls the inbound and outbound access from the EC2 instance. Here, I have an access that allows any traffic from the on-prem network to be able to get access to the ICE instance I'm bringing up. And next, I have the key pairs for SSH access. Now that these are ready, let's search for ICE in the marketplace. As you can scroll down, as you can see, the Cisco Identity Service Engine is now listed. Select it. And you can select Continue to Subscribe. And Continue to Configuration. And select the Cloud Formation Template for your deployment. In this case, I'm going to use it, be using this on the commercial region. And select the version here I'm going to use the Northern Virginia. Select Continue to Launch. And then select the Cloud Formation Template. And select Launch. Okay, now that the template has been deployed, we can provide the basic info, such as the uh, stack name, the host name, and the key pair for SSH access the street group for controlling access to the instance that you're going to bring up, the management network that you're going to be deploying this, I'm going to deploy it to subnet 01, which is 10.0.1.0. And I'm going to specify a fixed IP address. Leave the other settings as default, but you can also select the time zone, the instance type that you want to use, whether you're going to be encrypting the EBS volume and the volume size, to provide the domain name, name server that I'm going to be using, and the NTP server. And you can also elect to bring up some services as default, such as ERS API, Open API, PX Grid, and the PX Grid Cloud. Here I'm going to select yes for APIs. And then lastly, provide the admin password that you're going to be using to log in. And finally, select next. And select next again. And you can preview the settings that you have provided. And finally, once you're satisfied, select create stack. From this point on, it's going to take about 20 minutes for the SSH access to be available. And about 30 minutes for GUI to come up. Just before you proceed, we're just going to make sure that this process is uh, progressing as, uh, properly. So once you see that 
create complete for the instance and the instance uh, name. Now you're good to go. Okay, first we're going to check the time. So it's been about 45 minutes. That's more than enough for ice to come up. And here I have SSH with I option and pointing to the certificate or the key that I have and the admin as a username and the IP address of the host. Yes. Okay, so at this point I have access to ICE. Okay, 3.1. Okay, looks like uh, all the services are up and running. At this point, let's open up another tab. Okay, so I have access to GUI. Okay, so with this, thank you, and this concludes how to bring up an ICE instance on AWS.